Mary, May, or February, but it says February. It's not a friend of mine. 198,189. I'm moving on to question number two. Yeah, here we go. What upcoming film's trailer features the nursery rhyme character Bo Peep? Toy Story 4, Avengers Endgame, or Star Wars Episode 9? Who's it gonna be? Where are you gonna find Bo Peep at, y'all? Yeah, the force is strong in those nursery rhymes, but that doesn't mean we'll see little Bo Peep with a lightsaber anytime soon. Instead, you'll have to wait for Toy Story 4. She swung around that pole. <laughs> like my ex. All right, 185,343 in the place to be. Toy Story 4 was the right answer there. It's time for question three, but before that, I gotta tell y'all some stuff. We got shows lined up this week that are so dope, okay? First, tomorrow, HQ is taking you around the globe for a Where in the World theme quiz. Just like our music video game, this one will have a visual twist too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Then on Thursday, it's Gilmore Girls trivia, y'all. You wanted it. So we're giving it to you, okay? So go binge watch those old episodes, all right? Channel your inner Lorelai and Rory, and then come out and play. That's Thursday at 9 p.m. All right, don't miss it. Moving on to question number three. Here we go. Which of these is both a color and a common kind of makeup? Blush, primer, or cerulean? What's it gonna be? Oh, look at this. I like this, the purple on purple. With the nice little, yeah, I feel fly today. Okay. <laughs> the word is pretty flexible. It's also a verb. So if you didn't know that it's both a makeup and a color, now's the time to blush. <laughs> blush, babies. I can't blush because I'm all chocolatey. I'm blushing right now. You can't tell. Woo hoo. 171,318. Moving on, jelly beans, to question number four. Here we go. McGill University is a prestigious school in what country? Scotland, Australia, or Canada? McGill University. Where is it at? I'm about to tell you, if you don't know. And if you do know, I'm gonna tell you anyway. That's how questions work. I give the answers after I tell them. Okay, you don't need a degree from McGill to get this one, okay? Though, it couldn't hurt. Although the name is indeed Scottish, McGill is often known as the Canadian Ivy because Oh, that's Canada. What? Crazy. Ooh. It's time for a Savage Question Song. Let's go. Savage Question Song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage Question Song. That school's in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's time for question five. Woo. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, question five, ah, uh, ah, yeah. question five, yeah, okay. Y'all gotta stop coming to my shows and asking me to sing the question five song out of the context of the game, because it gets really silly. Question five, babies. What explorer is credited with leading the first circumnavigation of the world? Ferdinand Magellan, Christopher Columbus, or Marco Polo? This is the first circumnavigation of the world, y'all. Okay? No. Christopher Columbus didn't sail to America to prove the world was round. He didn't need to. It had been known for hundreds of years. But Magellan proved it by sailing around it himself, starting in 1519. Go ahead, Magellan. I'm Magellan. I remember those commercials. Yeah, 98,465 are moving on to question number six. Let's get it. Here we go. Kabbalah is a school of thought in what religion? Hinduism, Judaism, or Buddhism? What's it gonna be? All right, if you were around in the early aughts, you might remember Madonna being extremely public about this mystical sect in possibly the best pop culture promotion for Judaism since Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song. Judaism, yeah. 
58,395. Got that right on question number six. It's time for question number seven. Let's go. Michael B. Jordan made headlines at the SAG Awards for wearing a very colorful what? Cape, top hat, or harness? What was he rocking out of these three? Very colorful. I mean, this thing raised a lot of questions. Was it supposed to be functional? Was it Michael B., you know, was, was it up to, what is it, what is he doing that he needs to be held in with a harness over a zoot? Fashion. It's so, so full of mysteries. Harness was the answer there that I was looking for. That's another savage question. Woo! Savage question song. Sorry you got it, Raul. Savage question song. That's the second savage question song. 19,890 got that one right. Moving on to question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Here we go. Anubis is an Egyptian god with the head of a what? Feline, canine, or ursine? This is Anubis we talking about, baby. It's an Egyptian god, all right? The god of mummification. That's a god you can really say, good boy. Good boy, cause he got a he got a dog head, y'all. A woof woof, yeah. Canine is the answer there. Anubis and his doggy head. Fifteen thousand nine hundred ninety-six got that one. You're moving on to question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine and so divine. Here we go. What country was in the G8 but not the G7? Russia, Japan, or Canada? They was in the G8 but not the G7. What's it gonna be? All right, this meeting of world powers was called the G8 until 2014. So what happened to 2014? I'm gonna tell you, okay? Russia invaded Ukraine and got booted out of the G8 in retaliation. Settle down, Russia. Russia, babies. Yeah, 12,005. I'm moving on to question number 10. Here we go, my friends. Time to get it in, all right? What is the capital of New Zealand? Wellington, Christchurch, or Auckland? Capital of New Zealand. I heard there's more sheep than people there. In the whole of New Zealand. All right. Shout out to my Kiwis. I don't know if that's a derogatory term, but uh, I enjoy Kiwis. What? <laughs> we asked you the capital of Australia a while back, and uh, you didn't know it was Canberra. But surely you know that Auckland is New Zealand's largest city, Wellington is the, uh, the capital there. Wellington, yes, 7,789. I'm moving on to question number 11. All dogs go to heaven, let's get it. The youngest ever player in minor league baseball pitched for what team? Chicago White Sox, Los Angeles Dodgers, or Cincinnati Reds? This is the youngest player ever. Major League Baseball. What team was he pitching for? All right. The youngest starting pitcher in the postseason was only 20. And the youngest starting pitcher, period, was a teenager, only, uh, only 16. But he was beat by another player during World War II, 15-year-old reliever Joe Nuxhall of the Reds. Too young for the draft, old enough for ball. Cincinnati Reds, babies. Yay, yay. 5,867. Uh, moving on to question 12. Here we go. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo! Question 12. I said, question 12. Question 12. Here we go. For all the points here, 10 million points, y'all. It's up for grabs right now. Let's get it. Which of these artists' biggest U.S. hits is a cover? Natalie Imbrula, Jewel, or Sarah McLaughlin? Natalie Imbruglia, Jewel, or Sarah McLaughlin. Okay, even though Angel was in a lot, a lot of, a lot of sad dog ads, Sarah McLaughlin's biggest hit was Aida. Yeah. And she wrote it, and Jewel's self-written You Were Meant For Me reached number two, but Torn, that was originally a little-known song by a band called Edna Swap. Natalie and Brule, y'all. Yep. Oh, boy. That is a weird name to read. 
4,369 of you just won HQ Trivia! Yeah! <laughs>